Okay. Let's see if it'll keep going. So, we are going to be... Tourism board. No, it's working. Religion? Okay. <laughs> God is good. Okay. Okay, the opposition party uh, is not good. Sure, let's try that. Difficulty, all that stuff. I already turned off assassinations and political capita. Because clearly, we've realized in an election, when there's a new president, they could sign as many damn executive orders as they want right out the gate. Like their first week type of thing. So we're going to turn off the political capita. In this game, you have capita that you have to use. So it would be like, let's say... We'll go with religion. So let's say we come over here. Do we want to teach creationism, creationism or evolution? Well, they would want creationism only. I guess the best I can. Um, abortion law. Well, they would want a total ban. State schools. I don't know. Well, if for state schools, if you can put... Sure, we'll give them modern textbooks. Science. Well, historically, religion has been very much against science. So we'll cut the... They'll get test tubes, microscopes, electrons, particles. <sighs> modern day, it's just batshit crazy. School vouchers. Nah, they're already going to school. They don't need a voucher to go to school. Um, science funding. Yeah, yeah. I already did that. I'm gonna mess with tax. All right, this is how I love public service. All right, go up to the light bulb, public service. We'll go to oh, faith school subsidies. Absolutely, that makes all these people happy. But when you make some people happy, you're gonna make other people angry. School prayer. Yeah, you gotta pray in school. Twice daily. <laughs> ah, yep, you are praying twice daily or you're getting suspended. Organ donation. No, there means that wrong. A stem cell? <laughs> Absolutely not. Um, human cloning, that won't happen. No, we are playing as an extremist, so extremist religion would want to ban private education to where everybody is under church education. That's my whole thing, just doing it as the extreme. And even if it's church education, they're still going to learn math and stuff. Yeah, we're going to ban foreign church service because our God is right, your God is wrong. National Anthem, maybe. Public Religious Broadcast, there we go. Oh, those liberals are getting pissed. How dare we have freedom of speech and freedom of religion when the liberals are around. Youth politics. Just doing the quick and easy stuff now. I'll go back through. Oh, married tax allowance. Yeah, sure. If married people tax tax breaks. 
Oh, yeah. There. Yep, there's some good ones in here for them. Oh, here's actually five. Rectangle down. 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 Down.
we can't have anything that's upsetting or contradictory to religion. I'm not talking about any specific religion, just religion in general. Oh, yeah, we gotta sense media. The media's doing enough of that right now. Uh, bad homosexuality. Yep. Definitely, Definitely got to do that. I mean, if you look in, say, the Bible. Oh, punishable with jail. Oh, that's nicer than what the Bible says. You get giant rocks thrown at you until you die. And the was oh, yeah, you can. You can't get a divorce. Only if dangerous spouse... Maybe. But we're going to go with a full ban. Because you made a commitment before God that you're going to be married till death do you part. Even if the person you're married to leads to your death. Oh, wait, I said something about church amendments. Huh? Mandatory. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, there is mandatory oh, church, yeah. isn't there? All the way down, I think. Oh, is that it? Yeah, I Compulsory church attendance. So everybody's got to go to church. And you go to prison if you miss a day. Why? Or just a fine. I'd say a fine. Or a warning. Nope, we're going extremist. That's the fun way of doing it. You go extremist. Yeah. If you're sick, then you better be wearing your face mask. Because everybody else should be. But in this world... There is no virus yet. I mean, you can get viruses if you drop your uh, your healthcare budgets, then people get sick. Oh, yeah, di diplomatic service. Um, yep, yep, yep. Definitely got to spread that good word there. So usually in this game, you're not going to be able to make this many moves. Like everything that I've done, you won't be able to do in a full game. If you have the political capital turned on. Which I turn that off so that way I can do whatever I want. It is, it's much more fun to just make all your moves on your first round. Ban private health care. Because if God wants you to get better, you'll get better. I mean, come on. There's religious people out there who refuse medical help. <clears throat> they can't have a blood transfusion. They can't have an organ transplant. Might be it. Miss anything? Well, that's more anybody. Anybody could do youth group, youth groups. We'll just do this nice and easy. Now, so that's adding things. Now we have to alter what's already in the game. So, the death penalty. Well, we gotta cancel that, don't we? <laughs> you can kill 45 people in one day, but not get killed yourself because that's wrong. Um, we'll leave everything else pretty much. Make sure all the narcotics are outlawed. What is... 
uh, public religious broadcasts on dedicated channels, support for all channels, state-owned channel. You know what? Yeah, I'll just keep that. All right, I think that's good enough. So here's our income. How much we're making off of taxes or borrowing, which usually in this game, all the borrowing you get builds up into all of the um, debt interest that you build up to, and that becomes your biggest uh, expense. I mean, yeah, there's so much in this game. And you can see your cabinet. Who everybody is, how, how loyal they are to you. All the other groups that want to kill you, assassinate you for making laws and provisions that they don't like. I turned off assassinations, but um, that will quickly change. I have a feeling, just thinking of the, the, uh, Did you do abortion? yes, banned abortion, but I figure with all of the pro-religion things that I have done, there's going to be a few that will want to kill me real quick. Credit rating downgraded. Health is crap. Crime is through the roof. Unemployment slowly going down. Education's going up. 17% if we were to vote today for my re-election. So green arrows means everything's going up. Religious people are super happy. And reds are going down. Debt protection. Basically, this allows them to sort of, like, I believe it says harass. I don't know, because I'm going to let them do what they want to do. If somebody willingly chooses to borrow money from somebody else and they refuse to pay that, the people who lent out the money should have the right to get their money back. Even if that means verbally threatening. threatening. Ooh. Ooh, health is awful. Because... We cut the budget to the hospitals because extremists won't take medicine. Oh, and disease is spreading. There's a teacher shortage. Everything you need to learn is in the good book. Now let's see the assassination board. Ah, oh, not too bad. Not too bad. Public smoking? Yeah, we need to ban that. I smoked for years, so now that made me mad. Race riots. Ooh. We well, haven't done anything for minorities with this yet. Right. So, let's do something for the race riots. So if you can't figure out what to do, something like that, that's ghettos. That's race riots. So the armed police, racial tension is feeding that, armed police, okay, unemployment. So I like going the opposite way. And we will go to Stamp Out Racism Week. <laughs> 47% of the population approves with stamping out racism. Nice. Yep. 
I got 53% racist. Now, let's flip it around a little bit. Let's just flip that around. We will put... Diversity quotas. So now if there's too many white people on the board, somebody's getting fired and replaced by a non-white. I say it doesn't matter. If you're right for the job, you're right for the job. Uh, terrorist attack. Hate when that happens. Killing three, wounding dozens. But that gets more people to join the military. Internet crime is at an end. Oh, that's cool. Debt crisis. Ooh, I can count on 2% of the vote next election. Income. Deficit. Debt. We're already a couple turns in. You know what? I'm going to go with light defensive because we don't need to kill other people. Although the extremists in the past did kill people over religion. I believe it was called the Crusades. Freedom of information. This isn't much of a religious answer. Oh, what the hell. We'll follow modern history. Wait, did I click yes or no? Oh, this guy's pissed. Born of bears. Children's food. Let's see. Yeah, let's regulate. Make people a little happier and healthier. They shouldn't be eating cupcakes for breakfast. Cupcake as the generic brand. I mean, Cupcake as the actual brand I love. Ooh, extreme nationalism. That's what happens after a terror attack, yes. People become more patriotic. Ooh. I've never gotten that one before. I guess uh, Avengers just came out. Hospital overcrowding. Well, tell them to get their asses out of the hospital and get into church and pray for a cure. Oh, see, I'm already at 13%. I've gone up. Personally, I think it'd be awesome to have 13% of the United States population who wanted to vote for me for president. I'd consider that a win. Let's see, UN ambassador. So do we get somebody who's strict or somebody who's kind of like, okay, we can negotiate. Strict. Ooh, now I'm at 17%. Unemployment is still high. Health is still tanked. GDP is garbage. Poverty's not bad. Uh, crime's going down. Obi I'm just clicking the next button. Oh! Who else is mad? Alright, let's see. Farmers and ethnic minorities. Oh, come on. I gave you a whole day and extra job security. <clears throat> oh! And tobacco advertisements. 
Advertisements. Advertisement or advertisement? Well, since I can't recall a tobacco commercial on TV for the past 20 years? And unless I'm I'll prove it. I, think I remember the Joe Camel cartoons. I remember the Camel one. Yeah, Joe Camel. And I think I was in Ooh. Ooh, now I'm up to 26%. How much time do I have left? Uh, we're getting there. Alright, so I'll check out my cabinet. Me. Me. Voter types, focus groups. I would like to think, since I don't have Democracy 4, I would like to think that 4 has this organized more simpler. Policies. So that's what people approve of. This is what they do not approve of. Health is down since since taking office is this. And here's our compass. Ooh, we're a conservative socialist. You usually pretty much start over in the conservative capitalist area because again it's the United States. Um Make some of our farmers a little happier. Give them some subsidies, some grants. But every move you make in the game takes time. So that one took four. Each turn takes three months. So what I just did for that last one won't take effect during my presidency. Curb banking bonuses. We're going to restrict the bonuses because they should be donating that money to charity. How are my religious people? They're the only ones who are completely happy. So there, I'm doing, doing the mission the way I plan. How I hope to do it. And yes, if your uh, your ministers, if your cabinet gets pissed off, they will resign after this re. Uh, staff oh and there we go so i could either get somebody who is decent at foreign affairs which nobody's main thing is foreign affair well at clarence guy looks like he's got Loyalty. Right. So you could do what other people do is hire somebody who has absolutely no idea how to do the job, but they basically swore their allegiance to you. So this guy likes me, so he gets the job. Not really qualified. I think he worked at a bar or something. Next, age concern. Oh, I pissed off Granny. How? 
I don't know, it doesn't say. Thirty-six percent. All right, here you go. My last move as president, I will give the pensions back and boost the crap out of it. But it's costing me a lot of damn money. So we are definitely in debt, but it's not my problem anymore. That's the next guy's problem. See, that's the thing about politics. One president will come in, make a whole bunch of changes, and then the next president's gonna have to come in and kind of fix all of that spending by raising taxes. Wow, that was not much of a win, but... I mean, that's really like, I mean, he barely got a little bit more than 50% of the vote. But a win's win, I'm gonna go play golf.